In this video, I will compare Eli versus Sun Sama and tell you which of these daily planners may be best for you and your needs. So first, let's go ahead and cover what they do exactly and who they are made for. So these are both made for individuals and not really for teams. Now they both help you plan out your days and write down ideas. And they both basically help you plan out your days by creating blocks of things that you want to do, adding durations to this block, setting up recurring tasks and basically organizing your day. So they both do that. So which one is best added is the question that I'll answer in this video. Now, right off the bat, I'll tell you Sinsama is actually the best option. In my opinion, it has more features such as weekly and daily goals. And overall, it's just a lot nicer to use. And you can integrate it with a bunch of different softwares. And from there, you can really easily drag and drop in tasks. But still, I wouldn't recommend Sinsama for everyone, despite it actually being better than Ellie, in my opinion. So when should you use the Ellie Planner. In my opinion, if you're looking for a free option, then you should be using Ellie Planner. Their free plan allows for unlimited task creation. You can use the iOS and web app, and they have a brain dump feature where you can basically just write down ideas. Then the Ellie Pro plan gets you most advanced features, for example, time box mode, which is what you see right here. So basically the more aesthetic version. And then here you get Google Calendar and Apple Calendar integration, unlimited labels and subtasks, recurring tasks, due dates and more. This is $9.99 per month. And they also have a lifetime purchase for $300, which is about 30 months of using it, which is quite a lot. Now, when we compare this to Sunsama, Sunsama just has a lot more features and integrations, and it's just a lot better and nicer looking in my opinion. They also have built-in focusing features, such as the Pomodoro technique and simple time tracking. You can really easily create a backlog of tasks that you didn't get done on a specific day, for example. And then after you have planned out your entire day, simply like this, by dragging it in, then you can see, okay, here I have 20 minutes left in my backlog. Log, I have this task that takes 15 minutes and then you can just put that right there. Now if you work with any of these platforms, so Asana, ClickUp, GitHub, Gmail, Jira, Linear, Monday.com, Notion, Outlook, Slack, Microsoft Teams, Todoist or Trello, then Sunsama is really good for you. Because for example, with I'll just take Asana since that's what I actually use, you can connect your Asana account. And then here you will see Asana inside of your actual Sunsama account. And then you have a task, for example, here, product demo with Jen. And then what you can do is just drag that into your calendar, wherever it fits for you. And it will then automatically import all the details of the task such as the duration and if there is an update on any of these platforms in the task then it will also update automatically in Sunsama. Now I also like that you can set weekly goals, daily goals and then you can reflect on those as well and just track everything very well. In terms of pricing you will see usually they have a 14 day free trial then a yearly subscription of $16 per month or monthly of 20 but the 14 day free trial, if you want to get the extended 30 day free trial, then you can click on the link in the description and you will see through that link, you will get a 30 day completely free trial. So if you want to claim this, simply go to the link in the description to get started with Sunsama. So use Ali if you're looking for a free option, use Sunsama if you're looking for the best option. So that concludes this comparison of Ali versus Sunsama. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.